Yuan Shu has delusions of imperial grandeur. Quite frankly, we'd be better off with him gone. Indeed, the people are suffering under his leadership. For their sake, he must be removed from power. Fighting to free the people. A selfless man indeed. has turned against you and Shu. Perhaps his time is up. There is no point in standing beside you and Shu any longer. You can count me out. Fire! Show them the might of the Ballista! I cannot absorb a fool any longer! If we use the ballista, we should be able to reach the castle walls. Come! down the gate. something about those rocks first. We'll knock the gate down after that. Shang Xiao, fire at them with a ballista.
better. And now to open the gate. It's time. Use the ram to destroy the gate. Gates open. Let's go. Let's go and give the enemy a fight they'll never forget. when you and I work together. I can't see Yuan Shu anywhere. We'll have to conduct a rigorous search of the castle. Come with me, my lady. It is too dangerous to hurry forward alone. You are most kind, my lord.
retreat. This is not the end. Who says a woman has to be weak? everywhere, but there's still no sign of Yuan Shu. You would flee like a rat, Yuan Shu? After him! Fight on! We must not fall short! like a man. Fight me now for glory. That UN shoot lives like a king. Well, I'm going to take some of this treasure. You and Shu means nothing to me now. I will do what you ask. I'm proud of you, Shang Xiang. You fought magnificently. I am a Sun too. This is all in a day's work. Had a lot of fun fighting alongside you. I assure you, my lord, the pleasure was all ours. So, what are you going to do now? You're not just going to keep on working for Cao Cao, are you? <laughs> well, I hope that we can fight together again someday. My lady. Your brother is like a burning flame. His brightness attracts all who encounter him. You are lucky to have such a strong man by your side. Until we meet again, my lady. Why is it always about my brother? Yuan Shu's army was decimated by the efforts of Sun Tzu, Sun Shangxiang, and the others. However, the little conqueror's eyes were already focused on the next threat to his plans. His name was Cao Cao, the hero of chaos. He was a man who would sacrifice anything to realize his ambitions. Be it his friends, his people, or even the Emperor himself. As they fought side by side, Sun Tzu saw and understood the dark nature of Cao Cao's heart. Following the defeat of Yuan Shu, Liu Bei rebelled against Cao Cao. Possessing superior military might, Cao Cao quickly scattered Liu Bei's forces and moved his troops to the north. His destination was the fields of Guandu, where he would challenge Yuan Shao for supremacy over the land. Thus, he showed a slight gap in his defenses. This was all Sun Tzu and Zhou Yu needed. 
they quickly advanced their men to Xuchang to strike at Cao Cao. You... You wish to attack the Emperor? You've got it all wrong. Our target is not the Emperor. It is Cao Cao. It's the same thing! Lord Cao Cao is a loyal retainer of the Han. He fights for his majesty. Is it the soon way? To stab such a man in the back? Hey, that's not fair. We are a noble family. Y you're going to kill me too, is that it? Wait, just calm down. <laughs> Sun Tzu! What's the matter? It's not like you to be lost in thought. Sorry about that. I just need to be alone for a while. We have Xu Chang surrounded, but I just don't feel up to battle. Maybe I'll go check out the surrounds and think. Hmm. What's with all the fog?
hate me. Don't you recognize me? then I have no qualms. I will protect my family and my friends. My father entrusted me with that task, and I will carry it out my own way. Eugene, you have gone too far. It is time for you to pay the price.
tricks don't work on me anymore. I will end this. Are you? You were fortunate enough to be born with fame, charisma, and luck many times that of other men. Ah! Huh? Therefore, your life will last only half as long as other men. No! What the hell are you talking about? Su Gong will be avenged! What is this feeling of unease? Shang Xiang! Zhou Yu! My lord? Brother. My lord, the main gate has opened. Lord Sun Tzu must be attacking the other gate as we speak. Yes, we must continue as planned. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao are engaged in battle, and this is our chance. Cao Cao's men. My brother is still lost, but we cannot afford to lose Zhou Yu here. 
And I let it affect me. I must learn from your example. Cao Ren? I see Cao Cao is refusing to send his troops from Guangdu. Without you, I don't know if I can do this. Fight on! We must not fall short! The enemy may be low in number, but they can expect no mercy. I will protect this town with my life! My lord, our lady is in battle against Cao Ren. Her forces are being pushed back. What? I must go straight to my sister's aid. that the enemy behind you does not feel their strength. It's important to rely on others sometimes. That couldn't have gone better. Let's use this momentum to our advantage. Not necessarily to lose. My lord, we have opened a path to the enemy main camp. Perhaps we will hear some news of old Sun Tzu. Regret this moment. Your strength gives me the courage to go on fighting. Report! The Allied forces are struggling! Very cunning of you to strike while we were away. But your luck has run out now. I misjudged you. The blood of the tiger runs in your veins. Hey! And just where have you been? I saw what you did. You've grown into quite the warrior. Even a sudden attack can't shake your resolve. Brother. I have been a lucky man. I've had you, Shang Xiang, and Zhou Yu by my side. I wanted to fight more with you all, to build the land we all dreamed of. Sun Tzu, you're... I wish, I wish, I wish I could have had more time. <laughs> But it looks like my time is over.
Sunce! Sunce! Do you keep them safe? Our family. Our land. Twin, you are a greater man than I. Greater than our father. The rest is up to you. The fires within Sun Tzu's heart burned brightly as the successor of his father's legacy. But like all flames, his were eventually extinguished. Despite his burden of sadness and the weight of an entire kingdom on his shoulders, Sun Quan succeeded his fallen brother as ruler. By his side stood none other than Sun Tzu's old friend, the incomparable strategist Zhou Yu. On behalf of his new lord, Zhou Yu gathered the troops and hurriedly withdrew to Jiangdong. The soldiers of Wu were in a state of shock at having lost their ruler. Zhou Yu knew that it was not the right time to face Cao Cao. And so he professed that the best plan of action would be to lure Cao Cao to them by attacking Jing province. Within Jing were Sun Jian's old nemeses, Wang Zhu and Liu Biao. Further, it lay in the center of the country. Its lands were fertile and its population was plentiful. Convinced, Sun Quan followed Zhou Yu's advice and advanced his troops to Xia Ko. Following the deaths of his beloved father and brother, the mantle of leadership had been suddenly thrust upon him. In fact, the severity of his circumstances often caused Sun Quan to question whether this was actually happening at all. command our army. My lords Zhou Yu, Tai Shu Tzu, my lady. My lord, who do you think it is that they're fighting for? I, uh... And please, don't you say it's for Lord Sun Tzu either. It's you. Each and every one of them would gladly give their lives for you. They're giving everything they have. You're right. I have been selfish. Lian Shu, I ask that you stay by my side. If I ever lose my way again, I'll need you with me. It would be my pleasure. Father's killer, Huang Zhu. I am in your service, my lord. Together, we will make your brother's dream a reality.
my father's killers out there too. All I ask is that he be left for me. Remain calm, Lin Tong. We must work together. That is how we win really fight. The demeanor of a leader once again, my lord. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. I have assumed command of this area. Happy to be watched over by you. That's enough for now. I'll remember this. heading for the southeastern ships. They must intend to attack our main camp. It would be nice to get them out of the way before we set sail. Yeah!
Lord. He killed my father. Let me have him. Calm down, Ling Tong. You mustn't lose your cool. Take it easy. There's no need to argue. How about you both take me on at once? Officer bows before the might of the Soon family. Vengeance is mine. Father, brother, I will run no longer. For the people of Wu, I will forge a new future. The victory at Chia Ko was a momentous occasion for Wu. They gained the brave warrior Gan Ning, as well as many bright young officers and battle-hardened veterans. All of them were bound together by the strength of purpose displayed by Sun Quan. Now that he had awakened as a capable leader, many talented officers came to join his cause. Sun Quan listened carefully to their opinions and strengthened his power base south of the Changjiang. Having defeated Yuan Shao, it was then that Cao Cao made his move to the south. After engulfing all of Jing within his mighty grasp, he set sights on Sun Quan. Fight? or surrender, the moment of decision had finally come. My lord, we cannot bow before a scoundrel like Cao Cao. But we cannot hope to match the might of his army. We must surrender. Cao Cao's demand for our surrender, Liu Bei's request for an alliance, what would my father have done? Or my brother? <laughs> Surrender. Alliance. Both options are... reasonable, I think. But, I have faith in Wu, faith in you all. Therefore, I must think of our future. We will fight. We will join forces with Liu Bei and defeat Cao Cao. From now on, any who suggests surrender, will share in this desk's fate. He had chosen the path of resistance. To anyone else, it surely seemed like an incredibly rash decision. For the difference between the two armies' strength was as immense as the ocean was wide. And to make matters worse, Liu Bei had only brought the most meager of reinforcements. However, Sun Quan believed wholeheartedly in his decision. For he had come to it with the assistance of his friends. And his allies would support him no matter what the cost. Anticipating the great battle ahead, they searched for any chance they might have at victory. Liu Bei's strategist, Zhuge Liang, worked together with Zhou Yu. 
and the two of them came up with a brilliant plan to be executed at the Battle of Cherby. The location of this battle will prove fortuitous to our forces. It suits our superior naval skills perfectly. like you've never fought before. You believe your wits are a match for mine? To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Proper strategy can overcome any obstacle. Too many of them. We'll have to cut the ships free to stop them. Sorry, Zhou Yu, but could you deal with Zhang Liao for me? I'll move the ships. Come and face me. the look of this place. I think it would be safer to take it off the enemy's hands. They mustn't be allowed to interrupt the incantations. They must be swiftly dealt with. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Proper strategy can overcome any obstacle. Lord Zhou Yu! Lord Zhuge Liang is under enemy attack. We must help him.
pounding. Famous Joe Yu. This is an honor. Thank you. Now I can focus on my incantation. I must retreat. This is not the end. Proper strategy can overcome any obstacle. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. How could I have been bested? Lord Joe Yu! The second wave of Cao Cao's army is approaching. We must focus on our defense. If we can repel this second wave, victory will be within our grasp. And what's more? There is a rumor that Huang Gai may defect. He is preparing a ship to surrender. Don't worry. That's all a plan to infiltrate the enemy fleet. He will pretend to defect to avoid suspicion. Well, well. Aren't you a tough one? Now it's time for me to kick it up a notch! So you are my next opponent! I'll crush you like all of the others! your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Surrender now, before it's too late. It appears the enemy is none the wiser. Now all we need is the wind to blow. We are unperturbed. Perhaps this was all a trick. necessarily to lose. The second wave has been held back, but only just. 
Sun Tzu. Lend me your strength. South Tao's on.
Who would have thought it against such numbers? Had the wind not blown our way, we would have been dead in the water. Zhuge Liang is one to watch. Forgive me. I have lost sight of the enemy commander. I see you've learned a thing or two in your time. Nice going. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived! You are clearly competent, but I can't let you outshine me!
Yan Wei, I would keep our lord safe. I bear the unfulfilled desires of three generations of the Soon family. I cannot lose. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. that you leave the pursuit of Cao Cao to us. But... why? We have already put a plan into place. Wang Gai! What happened? Uh, I'm sorry. He got away. But Zhuge Liang... He was here? Just what is that man up to? They engulfed Cao Cao's massive navy in a sea of crimson flame. It was as if Sun Quan and his men's raw determination had become a towering inferno. However, Cao Cao narrowly managed to escape with his life, and he still possessed the most formidable fighting force in the land. It was only a matter of time before he would turn his attention south once more. They could not count on a miracle at Jerby to repeat itself again. Convinced of their fate, Zhou Yu decided to take to the offensive. Together with Gan Ning, he would invade Nanjuin in Cao Cao's land of Jing.
and after occupying it, he would move on to attack Xiangyang and seize control of Jing itself. With momentum on his side, he would force Liu Zhang of Yi to surrender, thus dividing the land between Cao Cao and himself. This would lead to a showdown with Cao Cao and ultimately to a new age of Wu rule. This was Zhou Yu's plan to split the land in two. However, protecting Nanjuan was none other than Cao Cao's cousin, Cao Ren. This formidable opponent was said to be nearly invulnerable in a defensive battle. Further, yet another man threatened to cast a dark cloud over Zhou Yu and his carefully crafted plans. How's it look, Ding Fung? <laughs>